Game-based teaching, simply put, says that tennis is a game and people expect to play when they get out on the court. Therefore, we should start each and every session with an exercise that closely resembles a game of tennis or, at the very least, some points. It will then become clear to students what parts of their games need attention and they will become naturally motivated to work on them. Another premise of game-based teaching is to quickly get beginners serving and keeping score instead of the old system of teaching ground strokes first and playing games later down the road. But the principle of tennis should be that they play first. And any deficits, any limitations or weaknesses that they may have, right, help them to see and then back up to help them work on it. But start with playing. And if they can't hit a ball back and forth, again, get out a beach ball and have them throw. If you have them throw a beach ball with two hands, what is this like? It's just like a unit turn. It is a unit turn. So if I threw, do you want to stand up? And a little bit of happy feet, we're actually learning ground strokes on both sides. And you just have them just rotate through. And you could do the connect the dots idea, where you put the dots on the opposite shoulder and the dots on both hands, if you could catch it. And then I go, connect the dots. And then you got all three points finishing. And you've got their swings. And you could do this with Simon Says games. You see? So how much do you really have to talk about, thank you, um, how much do you really have to talk about mechanics? I would argue not very much. I really would, not very much.